to go out to eastern Long Island. They may have ducked a hurricane, but people are not out of the woods just yet by any means. No, they're not. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan live in Hampton Bays for us. She's been there all day. Jennifer? KJ and Maurice, good evening. The heavy bands of rain here in the hamlet on Montauk Highway have moved out at least temporarily, but still we remain soaked head to toe. And so are many Eastern Long Islanders who ventured out in Henri today. Tropical storm Henri's torrential rains combined with surges from high tides and treacherous rip currents at Shinnecock Inlet to cause moderate flooding in East End Shore communities. Dune Road closed. So did the Ponquag Bridge. Had this hit where it was predicted, we would be standing underwater right now. Well, that's a good possibility. We certainly caught a break with the storm moving a little bit further east. Um, and it's moving rather quickly, which is also a benefit. We had some north winds and it put, pushed the surge over, uh, so um, we're very blessed for that. Still pay attention when they warn you, because you never know when it will be. Residents of the North and South Forks rejoiced that hurricane force winds did not materialize, but worried about the potential for damaging power outages throughout the night before the all clear is sounded. We'll have to see what's going to happen. I feel nervous. In Montauk, massive sea swells pounded the bluffs and rock jetty. All boats ashore, but only spared Long Island's tip from the eye of the storm. The Great South Bay and Peconic Bay are being closely monitored. Winds gusty, but nowhere near what PSEG Long Island expected. We're not here yet, and we'll see when, again, we won't know till it gets here. So all the prognosticators could be wrong. The hardware store on Montauk Highway sold out of flashlights and batteries, a run on gasoline, too. We saw a few uh, parking lot fights at the gas station. The flood watch was extended. So too dangerous marine conditions, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. Victor Canseco is a tourist from Key West, Florida. It's just ironic that I live in Hurricane Alley and I came up here and almost got caught in a hurricane. We dodged the bullet. After memories of Irene, Sandy, Bob, Gloria, relief here that Henri did not pack such a punch. We're live tonight, Montauk Highway in Hampton Bay's Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News, okay. KJ Murray's back to Jennifer, you. Jennifer, thanks so much. We can feel the relief in everyone's voice from here. Appreciate it.